Today is November the 14th, 2016. It is 9.04 in the morning. It is a Monday in the flow of death. I'm sitting here in the dining room surrounded by stuff. We still have the kitchen's not done. We need floors, we need countertops, we need all kinds of shit. I don't know when it's going to be done. My wife doesn't know when we're going to see these guys again. Maybe by next year we'll have the kitchen finished. So yeah, I'm sitting here in, in this mess. I was writing in my diary. I'm on page 929 this morning. We're coming to the middle of November. I heard last night that here in West Michigan, it usually snows around the time of Thanksgiving. But we'll see. It's been a warm autumn here in West Michigan. So I'm sitting here writing in my diary. I wrote a page. I'm on my second page for today. And the last two days, I've just been reading my Reformation commentary on Scripture, Romans chapter 9 to chapter 16. I'm only on chapter 9 here. I read, I'm on verses 6 through 29 of Romans 9. So, and I, and I mentioned this book in my last video I got in the mail, and I've been reading this. The Saving Righteousness of God Studies on Paul, Justification and the New Perspective by Michael Byrd. So I've been reading those the last couple of days. And, and also I've been reading this Epistle to the Romans commentary, New International Greek Testament commentary, and Epistle to the Romans by Richard N. Longnecker. So I've been reading those when I'm not writing in my diary or watching the birds. Uh, I forgot to mention that I went to a thrift store the other day and I found another Bible. I collect Bibles and I found another one. I found this one. These came out in the 40s. I think this one came out in 1948. These are big blue ribbon King James. See it has large print. I like large print. They're like they're like family Bibles, but they were in, um, they have these old kind of illustrations in them. But I found this, I already had one. See, I have two of them now. I have this one, and then I have this one. They're, like, they're five dollars. Uh, I'm always looking for big, large print Bibles. They have these kinds of old illustrations in them. Uh, they have all kinds of stuff in the back. They have, uh, you know, these old illustrations. So I found one of those. I, I like the King James Bible. I like the language of the King James. Uh, as you know, I've read the 17th century English Puritans for 26 years. I haven't shown any of those works lately. Uh, I did order from a books, uh, the Dutch Reformed over in Grand Rapids. They're reprinting a Dutch Puritan commentary on the Heidelberg Catechism. Uh, from the, the Netherlands Reformed Congregations. I was reading this today, The Doctrinal Standards and Liturgy and Church Order of the Netherlands Reformed Congregations. I was reading on the cans of Dort on uh, predestination because that's what Romans 9 is about, about election and reprobation, God's decree of predestination. And I was reading this on the cans of Dort, which sets forth the doctrine of predestination. See, it's the first head of pre predestination. Like it says in Article 1, 
of the first head of doctrine on up divine predestination in the cans of Dort. Article 1. As all men have sinned in Adam, lie under the curse and the deserving of eternal death, God would have done no injustice by leaving them all to perish and delivering them over to condemnation on account of sin. According to the words of the Apostle, that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before God. Romans chapter 3 verse 19 and verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death. Article 2 But in this the love of God was manifested, that he sent his only begotten Son into the world, that whoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And this was manifest the love of God toward us, because God sent his Son, his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. 1 John 4 verse 9 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Article 3 and that, all, and that men may be brought to believe, God mercifully sends the messengers of these most joyful tidings to whom he, he will and at what time he pleaseth, by whose ministry men are called to repentance and faith in Christ, crucified. How then shall they call on him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? Romans 10 verses 14 and 15. Article 4. The, the wrath of God abideth upon those who believe not this gospel, but such as receive it and embrace Jesus the Savior by a true and living faith are by him delivered from the wrath of God and from destruction and the gift of eternal life conferred upon them. Article 5 of the Cans of Dort on the article, first head of doctrine of divine predestination. Article 5, the cause or guilt of this unbelief as well as other sins is no wise in God but in man himself. Whereas faith in Jesus Christ and salvation through him is the free gift of God as is written, for by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, and for unto you is given the behalf of Christ, only to believe in him. Philippians 1.29. So that's what the Kansas Dort is. It sets forth uh, the Reformed doctrine of predestination. So if you're ever curious to know what uh, in Reformed theology, what the predestination is about, read the Kansas of Dort. It's one of my favorite confessions as Calvinistic confessions. So yeah, so that's what's going on here. I don't know, today is a Monday. My wife flies in to the Air Grand Rapids airport at well, around four o'clock, so I'll pick her up at five o'clock today. That's about all that I'm reading. I'm not really reading anything else. I'm just kind of like, just recovering. So until next time, I hope you have a good week. Oh, I did, I did, um, I have two books coming in the mail. Uh, I wrote them down here. I'm getting in the mail a book called What's it called? Oh. The book I'm getting in the mail this week called by Triune Grace, Divine Rhetoric and the Effectual Call by Jonathan Hoglin. And I'm getting a book titled The Message, The Message, The Message of Spiritual Warfare by Keith Fernando. I'm getting those in the mail this week. Two Christian books. Uh, I don't know if I go to thrift stores this week. I don't know. See how I feel. So, hope you have a good week. Read the Cans of Dort. Read the, the Epistle to the Romans. Read your Bible. It's good, good nonfiction. 
So until next time, bye.